I got you guys all close and personal, so now I'm going to create a look with this palette. And I obviously can't use every shade because a couple of the shades are broken. Lord, why does this stuff happen to me? It was firmly on the table. I don't understand how it got just knocked off like that. I am going to start with the shade Wait For It from ColourPop on a fluffy crease brush. And just fluff that into the transition area, slightly in and above the crease. And what I'm going for today is orange and blue, since, you know, while I was swatching, I was like, that would be so pretty, I wanna do that. That's what I'm gonna try and do today. So that's why I'm laying down the peach crease to set the base for that orange tone. And then I'm going to take Bratty on a paper fluffy brush. And Bratty is just that bright orange from ColourPop. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner and really focus that in the crease. This shade isn't quite as blendable as the peach shade, but I'm really glad I laid the peach shade down underneath it because that is making the blending a little bit easier. And I'm just building up the orange to my desired intensity. I want it pretty intense. And I'm gonna take the NYX Glitter Primer on my ring finger and just dab that all over the lid. And take a shader brush and go into Livia and pop that on top of the glitter glue. That's a really pretty color combo. I really like that together. I feel like some people might think I'm crazy for doing this, but like, I really like those together. Then I'm gonna take Cloud9 on a tiny blender brush and just buff that along the outer corner. So my camera overheated so I just finished blending in some of that cloud line to the outer corner and then I just cleaned up the edge with a makeup wipe. So now I'm going to take some of the, uh, what's it called? I'm just a dandelion on my finger and just press that in between those two colors to kind of blend them together and make more of a transition between the dark smoky brown and the orange. I mean, and the light blue. And I'm just touching up that light blue a little bit with my other finger, really blending it together. And for the lower lash line, I am taking the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in Eye Fresh on the waterline. And I am taking Cloud9 on a flat definer brush and pressing that up against the outer corner and winging it up. And then taking a mixture of the peach and the orange shade I'm blending that out. And then I'm taking icing on a pencil brush and popping that in the inner corner and on the brow bone. And using my finger to blend it in. And even though this is like a no foundation look today, uh, with this smoky eye look, I want to add some glitter, so I'm taking the Smith & Colt All Over Glitter Crush Glitter Shot in Iridescent, and just taking a little bit with my finger, and it's kind of like this balmy glitter, and just popping that on the inner corner over top of icing, just a teeny bit, just to add that little something extra. And then I'm gonna do my mascara. For the top lashes, I am doing the Milk Makeup Push Mascara and just putting on one coat, just enough to define the lashes. 
And then for the lower lash line, I'm taking the Kiss in Teal mascara from ColourPop. And then to finish off the look, I'm taking the Most Gloss from Dose of Colors. And this is my completed look with my Dream Summer Palette. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I include in my Dream Summer Palette, as well as enjoyed seeing the disaster that I caused, because that might be entertaining and the look I created with the palette. This palette is good for so many different looks and you can really mix colors or create monochromatic looks with the different colors that I placed in here. I really like this smoky orangey neutral with the blue look a lot. I, I feel like this is something that I would wear to like a beach bonfire or something to be like kind of a little fun and party but still not too bright if you know what I mean and <sighs> yeah I'm gonna have to break my no buy and replace some of these colors because I really want to get my full use out of this palette I curated I really do love it let me know your thoughts on this color scheme and palette down below what colors you would have chosen for your dream summer palette I'd love to you know, hear what you guys would prefer. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you've not already. I will see you guys next time. Bye.